Okay, hello everybody. This is um, a new video to showcase my piston bolt building machine. So this machine is fully automatic and it builds piston bolt. You just have to AFK into this pot here and the piston bolt is going to build itself. Um, it doesn't really have a length limit because we use minecart chests in order to transport items and you can stack just as much as you want into one spot. Uh, of course you're going to be limited by lag basically that the entities create when they collide with each other but that's something else uh, so this build a, a complete piston bolt with the floor the the, the room the walls the, the roof and places the pistons and the redstone the carpets and everything well of course this isn't exactly vanilla minecraft and uh, we make use of uh, dispenser block placing which is a feature from carpet so carpet dispenser uh, place blocks which you have to set true and another feature which is carpet movable block entity oh not like a movable block entities which you also have to set true so it's a uh, movable block entities allows us to move uh, block entities such as uh, helpers and uh, dispensers uh, they are not currently in the game but they are in the bedrock edition and maybe in the future they might be added to uh, the java edition of minecraft that's beside the but besides the point anyway so most technical players nowadays use carpet mode because it has a very nice tweak and also uh, has some performance um, fix and so it has some very niche features that are extremely liked in the technical community so what this machine does is it's simply uh, it's simply just a collection of modules so you have a module that places the floor a module that places the um, that places the repeaters one that places the rails one that carves them uh, curves them one that places the pistons blocks uh, the solid blocks to power the piston and yeah you ha then you have the rest of the room like the roof, the walls, and the carpets. Uh, so this is uh, some, somewhat actually already built a machine like that, and that's, that's I think one or two years ago that Mango built a different kind of version. I think his was very smaller, and um, and this one is actually very big. It's uh, more than a hundred block long. I actually took a schematic of it, which is what you're going to be able to download. Uh, it's 7 by 5 by 103 and this machine here um, is very long for a few reasons first of all is that I'm not very good at flying machine I actually just uh, I went from not knowing how to make a, <laughs> a one-way engine to, to just that in about a few days but I think this was very fun to, to build and actually uh, I ran into a lot of issues and I found a lot of new tricks. So first of all, a note about this machine is that it's actually very customizable. If you, for instance, if you already have a floor and you don't want to build, to have the machine build another one for you, you can just remove everything from this piston onwards, and and then the machine is just going to use the floor you already have, or you can just build it and place not not place any blocks in in the minecart chest. Or they actually are empty. How's the Okay, so we still have a few blocks to travel. Um, so it's actually very modular. So again, if you already have the room around it, the tunnel, then you don't need to build it once over again. And I think it's actually very cool, right? But uh, this modular, this modular design comes to a cost that is very long, and you have some kind of empty spaces uh, that are not being used, like this one, which could probably fit uh, like the rail placing modules of course it's not like the, the, the order will not be not work you also have like rooms like this and you we also make use of some pushers like that that lay around some places because we don't have enough push limit fits a little bit lame but overall it plays a pretty nice job um, at doing what it does it's actually not that expensive I think this is a less than a hundred slime slime block as you can see the map yes I do observers 57 pistons. It's not that much. It's just uh, this 
actually just a little bit of honey somewhere here and there because it's actually very useful but it also comes it yeah it's kind of like cursed because you cannot power it um, so this machine here yeah uh, comes yeah the it has a, a little a little disadvantage which is that you have to keep it loaded so that's why I put a minecart here uh, if it unloads then it's going to break I don't know exactly why but uh, this part here the front part is going to break uh, if it gets unloaded and the whole machine is going to break in a very bad way if this breaks uh, if something like here breaks like uh, we ex we stick to a wall here that was not removed and we exit push limit then the machine breaks in a very easy way to repair so this will this piston here will be stuck and then blocks after it uh, you just have to power the pistons once again about everywhere and everything is going to get back to normal so I'm actually going to stop the machine um, yep so this is actually the engine there's only one it goes like that Okay, so I, I've stopped the machine and uh, I'm actually going to show you what you have to do when you start it up. So there's this redstone block here, you break it, then you walk forward. So the machine is made in such a way that you have a clearance here to walk forward until you reach the AFK uh, minecart in which you just have to right click and then you just have to AFK there for all the rest of the, of the, of the build. Um, currently, the machine doesn't have a system to stop itself when it when it doesn't have any blocks. Uh, so the best way to do it is just to put an obsidian block at the end, and the machine will co will collide with it and will break. After that, you might yeah actually I don't think there's any use in like reusing piston bolt builders like that because it only moves one way, meaning that when it reaches a certain point, then you might might be very tricky I don't know maybe you might might say I'm keeping it maybe one day I'll continue so in this case you have to stop it at the right moment because this machine is only going forward that's very important so by building it I came across a lot of things a lot of issues about it so it's not snowproof I actually started building a snowproof version at some point um, and made successfully is snow proof but uh, getting this part getting some of the trivial stuff into snow proof version was was really not trivial at all and it took me quite a while of, to figure out and I was not even able to put the roof and the walls or just able to put the floors and the mechanism um, yeah it's also one 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 more thing uh, this machine relies on flip flops so there's one two three um yeah four and five ten flip-flops in total and you have to get them in the exact state when you the right state when you start the machine otherwise you might have things like uh it tries to place the the warp block when there's a repeater so it fails or it places uh the pistons one uh, like this and it doesn't work or something like that or it places a carpet on the repeaters uh, this might actually happen so if you don't want this to happen you you have to f to place them to have the flip-flop in a particular state which I'm going to talk about later when I'm going to show you how to build this machine um, <coughs> it's pretty much all there is to it so the machine itself is just like you break a block and it goes forward and you, if you want to stop it you just have to place one more um, so this machine, compared to Emango's design, uses uh, minecart chests, which is extremely tricky because you have to move them around, use a rail, because if you don't use a rail, they can wander off the sides, and if you put multiple together, they will actually generate some collision and push each other out of the sides, and they might not be able, to, might not even be able to stack in the first place. So using rails really is one of the best thing for this but it's actually very tricky because you have to move them around uh, in in a kind of like uh, engorge them around because if there's, if there's a, a hole around them they can if you remove this block basically the minecart will just fall uh, but it comes to an advantage first of all you can stack um, as, some, nearly as much as you want minecarts on the same rail 
so that you can have the machine travel very far. So with a single mic hard chest, if you fill it completely, you get to about the thousand and four hundred blocks. Uh, now you can put just uh, I made a test a test earlier where I put I think eight mine parts uh, completely filled and it went about uh, fourteen thousand blocks something yeah fourteen thousand blocks nearly fourteen thousand I can't remember how many blocks I actually uh, actually think it was more like twelve yeah uh, not really important but here it is uh, so yeah I already said it but you you really don't want to use it while it's actually building. If you use the piston bolt while it's actually building, you might run into issues because there are a lot of observers everywhere, and you might run into the issue that this observer trigger when you go through it, and this piston will extend, making the whole thing non-movable, not pushable, and this will actually break uh, everything that's before it. Even though this is not very hard to fix. The worst thing that could happen, but I'm not really sure about it, I think I fixed most of these issues, is the, the issues with the flip-flops there, which might get desync, uh, which would have had in the pre in the old version, and now I'm not, I don't want to say I'm certain, but I'm kind of confident this wouldn't happen. Okay, so we actually reached the end. I'm going to let the machine run a little bit more, so it places the last blocks. So it's already finished now. Still a little bit. Oh yes, still a little bit of carpets. Maybe I overfilled this one. Yeah, it looks like. Really looks like I, I filled it too much. So I'm going to show you. We're gonna go for a ride. Uh, just gonna take a redstone block so that we can stop everything. So yeah, I just overfilled um, the carpet place, carpet placers. Okay. So let's stop it. All right. So. We're actually in Z5000, I think I started in about at about 4000 something, so we're just going to go with the spectator mode. Just see how far uh, we actually built, we actually started it. Okay, so that's, yeah, there was a, a little bit of an issue because as I said, I didn't synchronize the flip-flops correctly, and so it wouldn't not place uh, everything correctly okay uh, then I, f I synchronized it and after that uh, okay no it's not exactly here yeah it's it's about here okay so we're gonna start about here so I just clear a little bit of space so you, so the way you start it is just, just simply put a button here and you make a red song and it goes here uh, you can hide the rest online, you can do pretty much what you want. There also are a hand free setup where you can just uh, open the and there's a string that updates a budget distance and and it actually starts it when you just enter the minecart. But I think this is pretty fine. If you press the button, oh, <laughs> that's not exactly in the right spot. Yeah, okay, so you put yourself there and you press the button and it goes forward at a speed of around 20 blocks a second. Uh, you can go even uh, faster if you go diagonally, but this machine, of course, only goes forward. And uh, I don't think I'll ever make a diagonal version because it's actually it was already so hard. So it was already not really hard, but tedious to have the V every components come around, come apart very nicely. So I'm not really sure, but anyway, we simply, as you can see, we simply are traveling forward in. This is very reliable. You just don't have to, have to not escape the minecart because if some minecart gets here at some point, it's going to stop moving forward because the piston will continue to push, but the minecart will be into some lazy chunk and not be processed. The collision will not be processed, so it won't go forward anymore. And on the second time you come here, um, you will collide into the minecart, and the minecart will still your uh, the pistons um, moving. Move forward with the piston, and you will just stop. But you can travel with multiple players at once without issues at all. Yep, and the carpet is just to make the whole thing spawn proof. So of course this wouldn't exactly be spawn proof because it's not spawn there. So you'd want to put some non-spawnable blocks here, like glass or or something else. Uh, it's up to you basically. You don't really have to follow this 
at all. If you build in the overworld, um, if you look uh, using light overlay, then around here we actually have lights from the sea lantern, and it's uh, lit enough so that we don't have to worry about mob spawning even if we don't put a carpet on there. But if you build it in the nether, which is what most people will, will do anyway, you really don't want a mob spawning. If you want mob not to spawn, you have to put light of 11 and above, I think. Might have changed in 116, but I think that's what it used to be in 115. And you, yeah, you know, you'd have to put more, more light about everywhere. But I'm not doing it here. Just placing carpets, I think it's one of the best. You can place other kinds of blocks there, you can place. Um, the trap doors, uh, flower pots, and stuff like that, and roads. Yeah, basically, very simple. So, I'm going to talk about the flip flops a little bit more in detail. So, um, because I said I would, so I'm actually going to put it into this state, which is the state in which I actually yep okay so this is I'm gonna talk about the flip-flops so mm, um, I just call them like that but w when so you have two states basically you have the, the state where the, um, the observer powers the, um, the dispenser so either it powers it directly or it powers it through a block like this like this the, in this way the dispenser is getting powered in this way it's not and this way it's getting power because it's directly in, in adjacent to the dispenser. So <coughs> so you start off so you have um, so you you have this direction it's like forward and we're gonna call this if this is forward and this is the right side and this is the oh sorry this is the left side and this is the right side and so it starts off like this so on the left side uh, the observer is not powering the dispenser and on the right side it is then we continue so we have exactly the same for this one which is the flip-flop for the pistons uh, moving on we have again once uh, the same state uh, for the blocks between the repeaters that are going to power the pistons um, and then we only have like two other I'm actually going to check. Yeah, in the end, we only we just have the, the ones for the carpets. So this one is actually different. Uh, on the left side, the, the dispenser is getting directly powered by the piston. Actually, just wanted to check. It is, there's a lot of blocks there. And on the other side, oh yes, uh, I just might might have filled them a little bit too much for what they what I should have had. Yep. Yeah, so on the left side, it's actually directly powered, and on right side it's not and um, and then we get to the other carpets and they are exactly yeah like the, the first one so this one is getting powered and this one is not so basically you can remember it by having only like the, the one here that's getting that's different from the rest actually it does not matter that where if it's um, you know if I actually move the machine just one forward it goes like this and now everything has shifted but basically you just have to remember that on the, the left side they are all about the same except this one and on the right side they are all uh, the same except for this one also and they also have to be kind of opposed so if one is getting power the other is not it's actually very important because you could also desync it like that but at this point it would be very at this point I don't think it would be easy to like describe it but anyway so you have to be careful about that if you if you like use structure blocks to, to copy the the thing might have that the observer will get triggered at some point and it might and it might actually change the flip flop state. So you have to be careful about those. Other than that there's no really any pitfalls. The machine is very easy to build. The only downside is really is that it's very long, and, and yeah, that's it. So about the clearance, so you need a clearance of, of mm, nine. K 
8. So you need exactly a clearance of 7 by, so uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 by, and I think the height is about 4. Uh, let's just count the floor. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, a clearance of 6. But if you don't build the floor nor the the roof, then you don't need that much of a clearance. It's actually, actually, you just need one, one here because, um, because it's this uh, this thing here. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's get uh, about it. So let's just make let's just say uh, you already have a. So let's just customize it. So you don't you don't want a roof. You already have one uh, floor. Sorry, you, don't, you already have one. So you break this. It's going to break it for you and now the machine works and it doesn't have a floor anymore uh, so you <coughs> just say you want this machine only to build like the logic the the the, com the redstone components so you want it to place the rails curve them the pistons the repeaters and the blocks uh, between the repeaters so we get up to here up to this point because this point here is the roof so we're going to remove part of the roof building setup here we go. This is another part of the roof. This is the central block. And um, well, actually, you'll need just a little bit of work, of course, but there we go. Then you do about the same thing for this one, and now it's only going to build the walls. And uh, actually, is it high enough? Yes, I think it is. Because I'm just going to show you. So this machine will just build the walls, not build the roof nor the floor, and that's it. So as you can see, actually, we don't need that slime here, and everything should be going on together. Yeah, now we go. Um, so as I said, it's very easy to customize. Um, oh, yes, there's still some carpets left. And um, actually, let's go a little bit farther and let's remove the um, let's remove the the walls. We don't want them, so we just want the pistons, the carp, the pistons, the repeaters, um, the blocks between the repeaters and the carpets. Okay, so that's another part of the, the walls same thing here now moving on we have is it actually okay, so we just have to do something like that yep or we could maybe put them about here i think this would not really be a problem I just want to save it's just about saving blocks and stuff oh wait okay no it's actually yeah just have to put it like that Alright, just destroy this. Now it's just going to replace the carpets, the pistons, the repeaters in the block between the repeaters and the rails of course. Oh actually this might be a little of an issue. No oh, okay. So the machine goes. Um well well as you can see now it's much shorter than it was just before, right? Okay, so I'm just going to stop it. So I'm going to leave in the description a um, a well download if you want to download the words. There's a couple dozens of them everywhere because I just built. Uh, actually, I think in my my um, schematics I have like tens versions, maybe even more eleven, eleven of them. Yeah, I think, and they're just pretty much everywhere. You have some kind of draft. You have failed versions. You have pretty much everything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the direction on which one you have to to actually reproduce if you want to build it on your survival world or or anything. And uh, just 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 telling you, really, this is pretty much straightforward. You just have to build it from the front to the end and build the engine at the very end. And actually what you can do to test each of the modules is that you can actually push them so 
if I put a redstone block um, here, I could just push everything like that to test it. And here I have some space, and I can build a module here or whatever. So it's not it's not really complicated uh, because of the, the the whole design thing, which is kind of modular. But oh, it's, yeah, but in the end, it's actually up to you. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, just, just have to be a little bit careful about chunk loading the machine when it moves. Uh, I've actually, I can, I can probably actually show you what happens. So I've made a schematic. Uh, I think I have a copy of it somewhere. Okay, so this is uh, an attempt to make some sound using piston bolts. This was kind of funny, but. Not very, no, not <laughs> yeah, not very resource friendly. I mean, bells are pretty expensive. Um, okay, so here we go. I think we have some of the the earlier draft drafts. Okay, so this is the finished schematic. This is a copy. No, this one is not. Um, this is a copy. I think no. Oh my god, this is actually a very old version. Yep. Um, so. I'll actually just show you what happens. So, even though we have a seat, which we can. Okay, so I think that's not the version with the seat. No, it's not. This one might be. Yep, it is. So, I'm going to show you. So, you have a seat for the player here. Um, even if you stand in the seat, I'm actually it's actually something that has to do with the carpet tick warp. Not exactly the carpet tick warp, but with the game. Uh, engine itself. So if I you um, take warp for 600, which is five minutes, as you can see, um, I'm very far from the machine, and the chunks in front are having a hard time. And the warp finished, and the machine has actually stopped. And what happened is that at the very front, uh, the whole block floor placement has broken. Uh, rails have actually fused. Um, I I think it's uh, it's. <laughs> It's extremely tough if you want to, to fix this one, uh, and I'm not even sure you might be able to do that. You know, so I'm leaving. I'm leaving this to you. Be careful about it. about it. I think you can just have a, a bot in it and just don't don't take warp. But yeah, this is actually just a little bit of downside of it because it's so long that sometimes this happens. Yeah, so. So uh, I hope you liked it and goodbye.